Hello everyone, welcome to Wildwood Studio. I'm Sarah, and last week I put out a video where I made this burning of a tiger. It's 11 by 14 inches on a basswood panel, and a lot of people seem to like it, but it took me around 16 hours, including sketching and prep and everything. So, this week, I thought I'd do another tiger for comparison, but this time on a 4 inch by 3 inch panel. Just by having these two side by side, I think you can probably guess what some of the differences will end up being, but let's get burning anyway and compare at the end. The burning I'm doing today is once again from a reference picture by Peter Martin, so if you'd like to see more of his photography, I'll link to his Instagram in the description below. So like I said, this burning is on a 3 inch by 4 inch basswood panel, and I'm using the same burning tool that I always use. Also, I'm going to add a little bit of white, pink, and green pencil crayon to his eyes and nose at the end, just for fun. I have of course done burnings this size before, but usually if I'm doing a smaller panel, I choose a smaller animal, like a squirrel or a butterfly or a little bird where there's less overall detail to cram into the burning. So this time I thought it would be a fun challenge for myself to try and do a burning of a picture with a similar level of detail as the big one I did last week, but on this little piece of wood. I also thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about size in wood burning and choosing a size for your projects. I feel like a lot of people might think that smaller just equals easier, and that's not necessarily the case, since the best size for a burning can really depend on what type of picture you're going to be doing. Now, one of the things I was really proud of with the burning I did last week was the level of detail, but the big reason I was able to get that detailed is because it was so big, so that makes the details a lot larger and easier to draw. With this smaller one I'm doing now, it's a lot more difficult to get the same amount of detail because I have such a small space to work with and I'm still using the same pens, which now kind of feel a little oversized for the type of burning I'm doing. Also, any mistakes I make will be magnified because they take up much more of the image. So when it comes to the size of your burning, if you're new, you may actually find that choosing a really small panel can make things more frustrating, especially if the picture you want to burn has a lot of small details. On the other hand, this burning won't have any large spaces with smooth, uninterrupted, flat shading, which is usually one of the most challenging things for me to get right. And the smaller size also does mean that the shading goes a lot faster. I mean, all in all, this little burning only took me about an hour and 47 minutes, which I'll round up to two hours in order to include the time it took me to sand the wood and transfer the image. So that means if you don't want to spend 16 hours on one project, sizing it down is an easy way to cut back on the time. And there are obviously panels in between these sizes where you can still get a pretty good level of detail without taking forever, but I've got a whole bunch of these teeny tiny panels and I have to use them sometime. I also sometimes enjoy doing a smaller burning once in a while to balance out the big ones because it's kind of like a little break. Additionally, I probably could have made this burning more detailed despite its small size by using smaller tipped pens or taking it slower and spending a few more hours on it. But even though it's less detailed, I do still like the way this little tiger turned out. That being said, even though I'm pretty happy with this little burning, the one thing I always find to be the biggest deterrent for me against making smaller wood burnings is how it's going to look once I post it on social media. That's why if I want to take a break and do something that's 3 by 4 inches or small like that, I usually choose a picture of a butterfly or something that's almost actual size as opposed to a horse or a tiger. Because at the end of the day, even though the tiger I did last week is almost 13 times larger than this one, once you put them on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, they really just become the size of the screen on which they're being viewed. So this photo, set beside this photo, just appears to be the same size, but one has more detail, even though when placed side by side in real life, they actually look like this. So if, like me, you plan to put all your art on social media, this might also be a factor that you want to take into account when choosing a size for your next project. Anyway, I hope you found this video a little bit helpful. Here's a picture of the finished burning. As always, please let me know what you think in the comments, and if you want to see more of my work, you can check out my Facebook page or follow me on Instagram. Also, please make sure to like this video if you haven't already, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss all my future art videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!